Hello, I pray that everybody's having a blessed evening this evening. Um, I just wanted to do this quick tutorial to show you how to make pot holders. And I'm using 100% acrylic yarn, but you can use any kind of yarn that you want to use if you're going to use it for decoration, that is. But if you're going to use it for, you know, handling hot pots and pans, I'd recommend you using 100% cotton yarn because cotton yarn is a lot better with handling things that are hot than acrylic. And this yarn is 100 grams and 210 millimeters. And the recommended hook size is 5 millimeters. And it's a four weight yarn. And it's 100% acrylic. And it's my ice yarns. One of my ice yarns that I have. And um, I don't know the color of it. It doesn't say on the um, thing. But this is what it looks like. If you can see it. This is my ice yarns, and I'll show you how I'll tell you how I got to the point I'm at now, which is you chain four and then you slip stitch into your first chain stitch to form a ring, and then you do 12 double crochets into the center of the ring. And then when you're done your 12 double crochets, you slip stitch into the first um, double crochet to form or to, to finish off that round. And then you do two you do two double crochets in that same stitch that you slip stitch into. And then you'll chain one and then you do two more double crochets in the same stitch. And that'll be your first corner. And then you, in the next four stitches, you'll do one double crochet in each stitch in the next four stitches. And then you'll do another corner on the fourth stitch. You'll do the same thing. You'll repeat the two double crochets, chain one, two more double crochets to form your other corner and then you just keep going that way all the way around and it's your basic granny square pattern and that's where I'm at on row three right now and also I wanted to show you just in case I kind of know a lot of people like to um, make their pot holders and different projects that they they crochet a few different colors so I wanted to show you real quick how to change colors in case you don't know how um, how I do it anyway and how I would do it is I go into the next stitch. I, I already did my, my four double crochets, which is two and then chain one and then two more. So I'm going to go into that stitch and grab my yarn, my new yarn, and then pull it up through the loop and then do a double crochet into the same stitch. And then just keep going, which I'd put one double crochet in the next three stitches because I'll make four. So that's two three, four, and then I, oops, and then you do your corner again, so you'll put one more double crochet in that same stitch, and then chain one, and put two more double crochets in that same stitch. Now some people chain two, between between the stitches but I like to chain one because to me it makes the space too big when you do two when you do a chain two but you can do it either way you want but that's how I do it I don't like to make you know a chain two because it makes the um, space too big between the two stitches between the four stitches I should say it makes the, um, the space too big but when you just chain one it makes it smaller but that's how I like to do it, just in case you want to change colors. Um, I just wanted to show you that real quick because I know a lot of people like to make them two different colors. I like to do that too, especially with pot holders. I like to make them a couple different colors, but that's how you change colors in case you don't know how to do that. But hopefully you're able to follow along okay. Um, you can also make it the same color if you want. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. I just wanted to show you that real quick in case you wanted to um, change colors when you're making your, your pot holders. But I hope that was easy enough for you to follow along. And I will put the written instructions in the description box of this video so that you can follow along okay in case you weren't able to uh, follow along on the video. But hopefully you were. And I will leave my um, GoFundMe campaign for my art supplies in the description box also of this video just in case for those who want to help contribute to my art supplies so that I'll be able to do more giveaways and um, different different things. But I'll be able to, to have giveaways and different things so that I'll be able to do that because I love to have giveaways and I love to to have different um, 
different kinds of giveaways. I like to have ones where not just yarn, but I like to have ones where I can um, get some crochet hooks and um, different crochet supplies and, and add it along with the yarn so that everybody would have, you know, the um, tools that they need to start a project because some people don't have that. And I'd like to um, make like little um, kits where you like crochet kits is what I was thinking of doing. When I'm able to, that is, is um, have a couple skeins of yarn and then a thing of crochet hooks and some yarn needles and some uh, other things like um, stitch markers and stuff to make like a little kit with to put together a little kit and have a giveaway like that because I think that would be fun to have so that's just some ideas I was coming up with for different kinds of giveaways but if you'd like to contribute to that I'll put the link to my GoFundMe account in the description box of this video and until next time I will see you then bye bye